However, they want to put pressure on the map. However, I'm, I'm worried that they can't really put pressure anywhere because Beatrice will win the lane and Lalapu will at least keep it neutral. So, yeah. I don't know. I think it's going to be a slow game. The only time that we can see a fight is at the turtle. Welcome but from Blacklist, the initiation will be coming in from that Lapu Lapu Matilda. It's time to get into game number two as we enter the land of dawn again. I want to know your predictions now because we heard from LaFell. Leo, take it away. I think the fact that Lapu Lapu here on Edward is going to play the same role that he did on the Paquito earlier, there's going to be a mid game spike here. That Lapu Lapu mm -hmm. is going to try to hunt down Zia and even maybe catch out White Chicken when he comes out of the order. So, Blacklist International, they're playing on the same uh, axis as they did game number one. And all the more, maybe even annoying because Haji now gets his trademark show. Yeah, that show is going to be very, very annoying in the bottom side though. Oheb already trading with White Chicken as that's going to be Shark helping him out. Oheb forced to flicker away already in the first minute of the game as Blacklist International tried to respond going in and stealing some of the jungle creeps from Moba Zayn early on. Haji, he knows that Moba Zayn doesn't have the retribution. Shark now is going to be there. Victor and Edward goes at it. It's going to be Victor going in with the Furious Dive, able to get some damage done and that's going to be both of the XP laners taken low. Haji zoned away from Moba Zayn's jungle. Uh, right now, Haji is basically 1v2ing. He's making sure that Boma Zane as well as Shark, their rotations are going to be slow. And this will make Blacklist International scale much better coming into this, uh, the next turtle fight. Well, right now, again, uh, for the side of Blacklist International, they actually are struggling in the lanes right now because of this rough file. In the top side, because Yu Zong just does way more in the late, in the all out trade, but Momo Zane, he's dashes forward. Rhapsody not gonna be used just yet as Oh My Venus shows up with a guiding win, brings Oheb to safety. But that is a few minions actually lost for the side of Oheb. He is gonna be in a level deficit compared to Fight Chicken for now. Momo Zane doing the same thing onto the enemy jungle. But this does open up the top half of the map. Map for Blacks International. Wise is a higher level than Granger, at least higher than Mobazane when it comes to EXP. So I was about to say, if Mobazane had the uh, Death Sonata, then Ohe would have been long dead. Yeah, Moba Zane already gonna go and start up this turtle. Does a lot of damage on this Granger. Remember, Kimi can't really go for the contest early on, but Haji, he can do it. Now, let's see what they try to do. Haji going in with a Chenpu already, trying to zone away the members, and he's gonna be the turtle's retribution the turtle. away. BTK picks up the first objective of the game, goes in for the Death Sonata, able to connect onto all three members, but no damage just as of yet. It's just a tool for poking for now. Right now, Blacklist International, they're just chilling because, again, this is also another game where you're going up against this Granger coming in from the side of the, the, the jungle. And Haji, he's just keeping control of where he is, so he will not have any cheeky gangs. So this is still a Blacklist control the game. doesn't matter if they're losing objectives. As long as they know what Momozane is doing, they're not going to have truly losing lanes. As long as the Kimi is able to scale as oh, well yeah. as Moba Zane, it's going to be huge for them, right? Because that has been the winning condition for the first game, and now the second, Oheb going in for a cheeky sniper shot. Remember, this is his signature hero here at M3. In oh. the grander scheme of things, this 1v1 up top, it's really going to be about how fast these two XP laners scale up yeah. and what kind of items they build going into the prime team fight windows. So, yeah, looking where Victor's going to go here, he's slowly building up, I believe, into a Bloodlust Axe first or uh, into uh, the War Axe. And then for Blacks International, you're looking at Edward. He's going for the War Axe first. Oh, Wise will be able to take away the orange buff, but look at how BTK is roaming, rotating around the map. They're going to go for that jungle creep. It's going to be Edward jumping with the Bravest Fighter, unable to connect. It's going to be Flicker coming in and connecting on a Mobazane. Now, look at the Jake Kundo and the real world vibration. Haji goes for the way the dragon, able to connect on a Mobazane as he gets taken down. First blood by Razor already. Victor trying to look for a trade right now, and a 1v4 goes and dives in. Actually, he gets Wise. What is this? It's going to be Victor picking up a 1v4 kill, but he's going to fall in the process as well. A two for one trade. Venus going in on the way under the Turret trying to get the kill onto Zia. Will be able to bow down to the Queen. Blacklist, three to one. Does so. It's gonna be Matilda Air Force this time around, as you can see. She has the impure rage. Matilda is rocking a lot of firepower this time around. And what made this trade up top amazing for Blacks International is there's immediate trade. There's immediate conversion into that outer shield and her turret. That's the crazy thing about Trace, because you're fighting against Blacklist International and they have Oheb using this. Oh, and oh, 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 oh. Chica's gonna get attacked. Wait a minute, Brilliant's still there. Will the Raphael be able to snipe? Oh, oh, so oh my crazy. god! Wise! What was that? The, the predictions, the timing, perfection for Blacklist.
I'm pretty sure even Wise was like, "Do you guys saw that? I'm sure you guys saw that. That was pretty sick. Predicted. <laughs> that was a TikTok play, Mian. <laughs> but yeah, now Black Mister National, 2,000 gold lead for them. They need to start to translate it to objectives on the board because so far it's only been the first, the second turtle picked up for them. Yep, one for one turtle count so far. What's making this a better game for Blacklist than game number one is the fact that they have the Cho. They have active control of their CCs as compared to game number one where they had to rely on Edward scaling up, finding those flanks, and then eventually Haji placing people where they need him to be. And putting Beatrix Ooh, on Oheb yeah. was also another you know, I was, big factor. I was gonna go in that point because Blacklist, every single win that they have is gonna be bigger just because they have this Beatrix. They're gonna chunk down the turrets very, very fast where it comes to a point, they don't even need kills anymore. As long as, uh, as, long as BTK, they're too scared to protect their own turret, then Oheb is just gonna chunk the turret down. So Blacklist International, this 2.8K gold, 3,000 3, gold is realistically 5,000 gold now just because they have that Beatrix. Oh, let's see though, BTK trying to collapse onto Edward right now. Goes in with the dash, Mobile Zane unable to get anything done. Shark is now caught in the midst of it all. It's gonna be the circle Eagle connecting on him. Oh, no! Haji goes in with the dragon and not get the connect. Look at the follow-up. They're gonna be able to pick Mobile Zane off the second time in this game. Six minutes in, Blacklist International wise, two levels ahead of him. He's gonna go and try to keep on pushing in these waves. Go for objectives now that Mobile Zane is dead. Way of the dragon right in front of the dragon. Victor had no answer. It would have cost too much to save Moba Zane wow. there. And now eventually Blacklist International are gonna convert crazily. They're going at 100 miles per hour right now. Kilometers, I'm sorry, that's a distance uh, measure here. It's going to be hard for Blacklist to come back because the way that they play the map is so specific. The, 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 the Haji, I was gonna say, the Eve that Z is playing is very different from the Eve that Haji was playing game one. My God, that show. This is why. This is why you need to pick it away from him. You need to ban it away from him. This is actually now makes more sense to why RRQ was just so, like, they were so persistent with the Cho. They wanted to take the Cho away constantly, if not banning it away. That's the reason. You don't want to face him on this signature pick. Yeah, looking at itemization right now, Oheb again, he, ha he has that Blade of Despair, so he's going to hurt a lot. I feel like it should be a few, maybe just one minute off, but Oheb is going to have that Demon Sword, and once he has that, he basically will be able to join his team for team fights. He doesn't have to stay at the lane for too long. But yeah, Blacklist International, Edward engaging. Oh my god, Edward going into the mobile zone. Look at Haji on the backside. He's gonna be able to go for the Jikundo, but Holy Babs, look at that. He's gonna be him going for the Wave the Dragon. Edward picks up a kill. Victor now going in for the re engage onto two members. Will be able to get Edward down right now. As Black Dragon form will be able to get the kill, but on the other side of the map, Blacklist International looking for more on the board. Gonna go and target a tier two in the top side. Haji's canceling the recalls away. Going in for the 1v1, going in for the 1v2s. It is a 1v1 between Victor and Haji. This is a all-out brawl right now, but look at the objectives. Three turrets to zero. I would say this is the bigger difference between Blacklist and BTK. BTK, when they have the lead, they're not sure what to do with it, but Blacklist, they're so used to it. It's like, yeah, we have, we have 5,000. We're going to make it feel like 10,000. Oh, this is disgusting. Look at how they're suffocating their opponents right here. They are playing this literally perfectly, and BTK, destroyed. every little mistake have been punished. And, and something tells me that there may be um, some mind games involved now. They're putting so much pressure on Moba Zane. They know that when BTK oh. is back on the ropes, they play in a certain way, and you know, taking down Moba Zane three times in a row now may have scrambled the rest of the members. This is huge for Blacklist. 6,000 gold lead. Moba Zane, 0, 3, and 1. Look Blue at bottom side. Edward destroyed. going in aggressively onto Moba Zane, not showing respect. This is what they need to do. Just constantly pressure this man. If anything, this might be the whole respect because Edward, he can go elsewhere. He can join 5v5s, but instead, he's keeping Moba Zane down. So this is how much they respect Moba Zane. This is how much they know how important his shot oh, goes on. Oh, Haji going in very aggressively. He's going to be the death tonight connecting right now. Flashbacks to the game when Blacklist got taken down by BTK. The comeback is still very much possible, although the chances are getting lower and lower by the minute. 
Yeah, and actually what a gold harder on a point. Oh my Venus getting caught out. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's what I'm trying to say. Edward Gunting jumping in with the Bravest Fighter is not gonna be able to get anything. That's gonna be turn around for BTK. Look at Wise though. He does so much damage onto the backside. Zio will be able to poke Wise a little bit. Moba Zane, does he wanna connect onto this? Does he wanna go for the fight? The Lord has spawned. Haji as well. A two for one right now. And look at that damage. Half HP taken out just by that one ultimate. Maximum charge, point blank almost. Oh head though. Drawing out the order, almost disastrous timing for the side of Blacklist for BTA to come back uh, with a team fight because they almost missed out the window on this Lord. At least they're fine. This right now is their last chance to get a free okay, Lord because once it becomes oh. luminous, BTK will be back on the map. Look at how quick this is. Huge pickup for the side of Blacklist International, but BTK, they don't stay quiet about it. They will take Red one turret, turret for it. Destroyed. Sure, not the optimum optimal trade, but it is still a good one right here as they can't oh. look for anything on the board. Shark is still going to be able to dodge away. Circle so Eagle all the way to the back side. It is going to be the Flicker saving Shark, but how for how long? Edward is still chasing him down. It is going to get him out, and that is a trade, a turret for the Lord. I'm sorry for all Blacklist international fans, but I have to remind everyone of the nightmare that Blacklist, if they go a little bit too hard on the engage, because we have to remember, when they go in with this Matilda, and then suddenly they all just get kited out with the, with Mobile Zane on this Granger, then BTK, they can't win a team fight. So yes, they are ahead, but they still have to be careful. They still have to show respect not to go overzealous oh. on the engagements. Oh, the Filipino sniper going at it on the turrets. This is insane! Mobile oh. Zane loses half HP from a basic attack, and that Blue turret is gonna fall down. Blacklist going in for the siege once more right now. 6.6 thousand gold lead. The Lord of Marching on to that top side. Let's see what they can do. Oh! oh! The Snipes and Edward pulls the trigger. Braver side on the backside. Going in for the sun. is oh. going to be able to connect on a Mose right now. But look at the re-engage. Victor pops in Black Dragon form. Edward's going to get taken down. The Lord is going to be next right now as Victor is still able to make himself safe. Into the base he goes. BTK on the defense. Chuck's going to get taken very low. The Bruce Bash him a fight checker. What the heck? He jumps in for the Blizz order. Able to zone three members away from the inhibitor. And BTK have done it. They've defended, but they've lost two inhibitors. That move, oh, that move almost killed three of them. Let's look yes. at the itemization from White Chicken. He already has the Clock of Destiny, Lightning Trench Run, as well as the Holy Crystal. When he engages with that Chaos Brilliance, it hurts. Speaking oh. of hurting, <laughs> Victor over there is like, I don't want to get shot. Stop that. He's <laughs> reeling from the maximum charge. Yeah, and as you can see from the itemization here, actually, they don't have a whole lot of magic defense. And that is going to hurt them in the long run. They've actually opted to go for that physical defense first. Obviously, why is, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but still, why is he going to be able to crack that defense open? Let's see, right now. Edward jumping in with the Raven Slider. Shark is still a bit of cutaway. It's going to be Edward taking very low right now. All of the damage coming out from the side of Blacklist and BTK, but four ultimates to only two. That is the thing you need to look at. Slowly, that's what Blacklist International has learned in the past two team fights, wherein they were somewhat punished. They lost a lot in uh, efforts to take down these inhibitors, but right now, that kind of um, pattern, that kind of movement from BTK that, oh, look, we can catch one, we can catch two, let's go all in. All the greens go away, all the dots. They still need to respect Fight Chicken, though. He can still pull off a Ruby DD. Conceal coming in. Oh, look at that. Oheb going in for the snipes. Haji is right there. The Conceal is there. Mobazane gets taken out to half HP. Is Blacklist International. Look for the siege once more. Oheb just being Oheb. Going for the snipes. The Filipino sniper chunking at the base. One more shot is all he needs, but he is going to go back. He's going to wait for the mini waves as they control that purple side. Right now, looking at BTK, they are looking for an opportunity. The flicker is almost out for Fight Chicken. He might re-engage. Oh my god, look at the damage coming in. It's gonna be Oheb forced to back away. Victor now going in for the re-engage all the way to the backside. Gonna be able to cancel it against me. Oh! oh! The Holy Baptism canceling away as Edward will be able to flicker out of that one. A one for one right now. It's gonna be the tank oh. and the XP laner taken away. But look at Wise's damage at this point of the game. I feel like that could have been coordinated better, especially as I was calling it. Fight Chicken, his flicker was coming up, and sure, he looked like, okay, this is a good opportunity for me to go in, but I feel like the rest of the team was not really at the same time, kind of, kind of thought, you know? BTK, looking at the damage, they can come back from this game. So I have to remind everyone, Blacklist, be careful. When you engage hard with the Matilda, you can't stop midway. You have to commit. And when you commit, 
You got to make sure that you kill them off, because if you don't, they will bite back. Oh my god, half HP! Oh, hey, one was sniping white chicken down, but look at Edward. Edward! Oh! He's out there with Fighter to combo one more starts now. Victor pops in the Black Dragon Force to be able to do some damage, but he's going to be Haji going for away the dragon. Moment ain't getting caught, but he's still able to kite away, and this is a turn! Look at that! Victor's still able to survive! Venus goes for the Victor, and he still lives! What is this? BTK gets one for zero! The hesitation on the side of Blacks International, the fact that their peel was elsewhere in the team fight, made sure that Oheb and Wise were zoned out. So that's what the reason why BTK got a free kill on Haji, and they were not able to get the return fire on the Moba Zayn and Zia. So again, I think wave, one key win here is off of Shark. Shark places his allies so well, and now that's a 5v4 advantage on the Lord. Right now, let's see what this, what's going to happen right now. Edward still has the Raven Fighter. Is he going to be able to go end to the backside right now? But Moba Zane's cutting away really, really well. Oh, Edward going to get the pick off onto Victor right now as Edward just goes in 1v4. Look at the damage coming in. Snipes from Oheb. Able to pick up a kill onto Shark, but look at the damage coming in as well. Real world manipulation zoning Oheb away, but the base has been cracked open. BTK now losing the Lord, losing the fight. What can they do to defend? Moba Zane very low. White Chicken is going to get taken down. Want to make a kill picked up by YZ. It's so, so low. Moba Zane. He's gonna go in for the Rhapsody, but he's gonna get taken down. Oheb gets the kill, and look at what they're able to do. Blacklist International goes match point. We got a game here, boys. Blacklist again. Philippines has been unbeatable in this playoffs. However, BTK, they were really close. Looking at the damage, they are looking like they could take it to game five, but look at Wise. He is pumped up. He's like, this is not going to be a game. It's going to be 3-0. The blacklist guys over here, they're looking like, you know what? The first time we met, that was a fluke. Ooh.